A voltage regulator tube is an electronic component used as a shunt regulator to hold a voltage constant at a predetermined level. Physically, these devices resemble vacuum tubes, but there are two main differences. Their glass envelopes are filled with a gas mixture, and they have a cold cathode. The cathode is not heated with a filament to emit electrons. Electrically, these devices resemble anodiodes, with the following major differences. They rely on gas ionization, rather than zener breakdown. The unregulated supply voltage must be 15 to 20 percent above the nominal output voltage to ensure that the discharge starts. The output can be higher than nominal if the current through the tube is too low. When sufficient voltage is applied across the electrodes, the gas ionizes, forming a glow discharge around the cathode electrode. The VR tube then acts as a negative resistance device. As the current through the device increases, the amount of ionization also increases reducing the resistance of the device to further current flow. In this way, the device conducts sufficient current to hold the voltage across its terminals to the desired value. Because the device would conduct a nearly unlimited amount of current, there must be some external means of limiting the current. Usually, this is provided by an external resistor upstream from the VR tube. The VR tube then conducts any portion of the current that does not flow into the downstream load, maintaining an approximately constant voltage across the VR tube's electrodes. The VR tube's regulation voltage was only guaranteed when conducting an amount of current within the allowable range. In particular, if the current through the tube is too low to maintain ionization, the output voltage can rise above the nominal output as far as the input supply voltage. If the current through the tube is too high, it can enter an arc discharge mode where the voltage will be significantly lower than nominal and the tube may be damaged. Some voltage regulator tubes contain small amounts of radionuclides to produce a more reliable ionization. The Corona VR tube is a high-voltage version that's hydrogen-filled at close to atmospheric pressure. For voltages ranging from 400 V to 30 kV at tens of microamperes, it has a coaxial form. The outer cylindrical electrode is the cathode and the inner one is the anode. The voltage stability depends on the gas pressure. Specific models in America, VR tubes were given RETMA tube part numbers. Lacking a heater, the tube's part numbers began with zero. In Europe, VR tubes were given part numbers under the professional system and under a dedicated system. In the USSR, glow discharge stable Eatons were given designation in Cyrillic with serial number of development. For example, 21, 204, and i.e., VR tubes were only available in certain voltages. Common models were octal based tubes, 5 to 40 mA current, OA375 volts, OB390 volts, OC3105 volts, OD3150 volts. Miniature tubes, 5 to 30 mA current, OA2 150 volts, OB2 108 volts, OC2 72 volts. Miniature tubes, 1 to 10 mA current, 85A285 volts. Voltage reference 1.5 minus 3.0 mA current, 5651.87 volts. 5,651 85.5 volts. Subminiature tubes. Various models that resembled neon lamps, but were optimized for more accurate voltage regulation. Design considerations. The pinout of VR tubes was designed so that power could be forced to flow through the VR tubes to the load. That is, the load current would flow in one pin of the VR tube and out through a second pin. In this way, the circuit could be arranged so that unplugging the VR tube would disconnect the load. Because the glow discharge is a statistical process, a certain amount of electrical noise is introduced into the regulated voltage as the level of ionization varies. In most cases, 
This could be easily filtered out by placing a small capacitor in parallel with the VR tube or using an RC decoupling network downstream of the VR tube. Two larger capacitance, however, and the circuit will form a relaxation oscillator, definitely ruining the voltage regulation and possibly causing the tube to fail catastrophically. VR tubes could be operated in series for greater voltage ranges. They could not be operated in parallel. Because of manufacturing variations, the current would not be shared equally among several tubes in parallel. Presently, VR tubes have been almost entirely supplanted by solid-state regulators based on Zener diodes and avalanche breakdown diodes. VR tube information. Correctly operating VR tubes glow during normal operation. The color of the glow varies depending upon the gas mixture used to fill the tubes. Though they lack a heater, VR tubes often do become warm during operation due to the current and voltage drop through them.